Another story lost in the media racist frenzy. Donald Trump introduced a plan to tighten asylum rules at the southern border. Boiled down, with some exceptions, migrants who pass through another country first must seek asylum there rather than at our border. So basically, you can't just say to El Salvador, get me out of here, when what you really meant was get me a job in Phoenix. <laughs> so Trump's plan is simple and sensible. And we've said it before, if you're on the run from something bad, why skip the first safe harbor? To use a movie analogy, if Freddy Krueger's on your tail, the first house with the lights on is the door you're going to knock on. But I am oversimplifying, because that's what I do. By bringing a safe place closer to a migrant, this change is meant to prevent suffering by shortening the journey. So you think the Dems would be on board, but no, it's Trump. Now, his idea of making refugees seek asylum in the first safe nation they came to is one most countries use, and for good reason. It saves lives, as the Germans discovered when Merkel let in millions of refugees who were told they could go anywhere they wanted in the EU, and many said London. So Britain set off leaders' aim to the EU, and Merkel's been trying to walk back her decision ever since. Trump knows anarchy comes when, you're, when you base your laws on political pandering and what plays well on the view. The caravans were our version of Merkel's mistake, but this reform says not so fast, which is why in all likelihood the Democrats will hate it. All right, Juan, I want to play a sock from one Democrat who seems to agree with this plan. Let's roll it. Oh. The refugee status is not granted just based on uh, economic need or uh, because a family lives in a bad neighborhood or poverty. Uh, it's typically defined uh, fairly narrowly. There may be some narrow circumstances uh, in which uh, there is a humanitarian or refugee status that a family might be eligible to get. If that were the case, it would be better for them to be able to apply in country rather than take a very dangerous journey all the way up uh, to Texas. Well, I really miss his exciting speeches. Juan, <laughs> do you hate President Obama and why? Uh, yeah, that's a, you got me. <laughs> Guilty, Juan. Uh, by the way, I'm glad you played that side, not because he was so pedantic, as great. I guess he was pointing out, he's kind of slow there, but, uh, but because I think that there's an opportunity for us to, to agree. Right.